everyone. Today is day one of our read aloud of the book Shelter by Celine Clare. This book tells about how there is a strong storm coming and all the animal families are preparing for it, but there's two strangers that come up and they are looking for a place to stay to get out of the storm, but none of the animal families will really help them. And so I wonder what they will do and I wonder where will they go to get out of the storm? So let's read to find out. It's morning, and as the day stirs, the animals do too. Some slowly, some gently, while others go leaping out of bed. Over breakfast, everyone catches up on the latest news. A storm is coming. Now this storm is it's called a blizzard, and a blizzard is when there's a lot of snow and a lot of wind, and it's a really strong storm. And when there's a blizzard with so much snow, people and animals don't really need to go outside, so they need to kind of stay in their house. So let's see what they do. There's no time for panic. Together, the animals all set to work gathering wood, squirreling away food, and quieting their fears. They must be prepared. At last, everything is ready, and everyone braces for the storm. The winds begin to pick up. But all is well. The animals are safe and sound in their homes. What if others are still outside, little fox asks. In the distance, two figures emerge from the fog, the wind howling around them. Everyone watches them from their windows and wonders, who are these strangers? What are they doing here? What do they want? Soon they come knocking. The wind is cold. In exchange for some tea, could we warm ourselves by your fire? Our fire is out. Try next door. Our bellies are empty. In exchange for some tea, could we have a few cookies for dipping? We have no food. Try next door. The night is dark. In exchange for some tea, could we take comfort in the light of your hearth? Our den is small and crowded. Try next door. So what are the animals? What are these two strangers looking for? They're looking for shelter and they need this shelter to be able to get out of the storm so that they're safe. But next door, there's only a hill. That's all right, says Big Brother. Maybe the hill will be more welcoming. As the bears set off, leaning on each other and into the wind, a voice rings out from behind them. Now who, what character was wondering if anybody was left outside? That's right, it was Little Fox, so let's see what he has to say. Wait, calls Little Fox. He has found something to share after all. You can't eat it, and it's not as warm or nearly as bright as a fire. But it's still generous, Big Brother says kindly. Thank you. So generous means being kind and helping others, and like one way to do that is to share things, just like Little Fox is sharing his lantern with Big Brother and Little Brother. On the hill, the night grows colder, so cold that the wind turns white. Big Brother holds out his hand. Little Brother sticks out his tongue. Soon the ground is blanketed in soft white snow. Big Brother and Little Brother look at each other and smile. They will be just fine. But there's danger in the fox den. The snowfall is so heavy that it becomes more threatening than the wind. The roof folds and twists, ready to give way. Quickly, everyone out, shouts Father Fox. What will they do now? It's so cold, says Mother Fox. It's so dark, says Father Fox. Look, says Little Fox, I see a light. As the foxes approach, they scent, the scent of ginger and cinnamon fills the air. Closing their eyes and taking deep breaths, 
they follow their noses. Finally, they reach the curious lot. The snow is still falling. The wind is still blowing. Little Fox steps forwards and shouts, The wind is cold and the night is dark. In exchange for some cookies, would you share your shelter with us? The lantern light is weakening. Our den is small and crowded and we have nothing to eat, says Big Brother. But our tea will warm you better than any fire and with your cookies for dipping, it will be delicious. Come in, come in. And that is how two strangers came to share their humble shelter on a stormy winter's night when the moon could not be seen. So why do you think the animals were preparing for the blizzard in their homes? Like they were gathering food and gathering wood and getting ready for the storm. So they were preparing for the blizzard because when a blizzard happens, they can't really go outside because it's too dangerous and it wouldn't be safe for them to go outside because there's too much snow and too much wind. And why do you think the animal families did not let the strangers stay in their houses? Even though they had room and they had food, they still told Little Bear and Big Bear that they didn't have room or food. And so they kind of lied to the two strangers about their house and the food that they had. So why do you think that they turned them away? Well, they turned the two strangers away because they didn't know them and also they might have been a little scared because they were strangers and they didn't know who they were and they also wanted to keep all of that to themselves. They were being selfish and so they were keeping all of their house to themselves and they were keeping all of their food for themselves and they weren't being generous. They weren't sharing and being kind. And so this was day one of our read aloud and I hope that you come back for day two and three because we're going to read the book again and talk about it in more detail.